Hi guys, with me today I have Nona, and Nona is a Eastern Box Turtle. These guys are native to Connecticut, so you can find them in your own backyard. That being said, they are a species of special concern, so there aren't that many of them, and that's because of us humans. So basically the reason why these guys aren't doing too hot is because we have cars, very big cars that can run these guys over when they're crossing the street and also industrialization. Every time we build houses, parking lots, buildings, we take away habitat from these guys. If you ever see a turtle crossing the street, it's really important that you put them on the side of the street that they are going to. If you turn them around, they'll just try to cross again. These guys only travel about in a one mile radius, so it's also important that we don't pick these guys up and move them around to other places that aren't their home. Eastern box turtles are terrestrial, so that means that they live on the land. They are not turtles that live in the water, and that is because they have really big, heavy shells. As you can see, Nona does not have the webbed feet that aquatic turtles have. The reason why these guys are called Eastern box turtles is because they can close the front and back of their shell like a box. So like most turtles, Nona can put all of her arms, her legs, and her tail into her shell. Let's see if she'll do it for us. She's not very shy, she's used to people. But she can fit all of her body parts into her shell, but she can go one step further than other turtles and she can actually close the front and the back. On her underside or her plastron, she has this line, and that line is sort of like a hinge on a door. So it helps open and close the front and back. These guys are omnivores, so that means that they eat plants and then also meat. So these guys will forage for things like native strawberries and mushrooms and all kinds of green stuff. We feed them salads. She loves sweet potatoes and raspberries. If you look on her face, you can see she has a little bit of sweet potato stuck on it. And um, then they also love bugs. So Nona has these really long claws which help her dig in the dirt to look for all sorts of little grubs and slugs and yummy creepy crawly things. So when Nona was a little baby, her shell was super teeny, teeny, tiny, and then as she grew bigger, her shell grew with her. Her shell is made out of keratin, which is the same stuff our fingernails are made out of and our hair, and it sheds. So kind of like how snakes shed their skin, turtles will also shed their scoots. And scoots are these little squares on their shells. The reason why turtles have their shell is because it's their home. It protects them, it keeps them safe, so their shell is pretty hard and it keeps animals from getting to them and eating them. Another thing about Nona is that she has a beak. So these turtles, they use their beaks to hatch out of their shells when they are babies and eggs. And then they also use them to munch their food. So turtles don't have teeth, so they have to use their beak to kind of break apart leaves and chew. Nona is a reptile, so that is a group of animals that all have kind of similar characteristics. All reptiles have scaly skin, are cold-blooded, and lay eggs. A good way to understand cold-blooded versus warm-blooded is this. So if you were sitting on your couch, all snuggled up in a blanket, watching a movie, and you got a little hungry, you wanted a snack, you go into the kitchen, get your snack, and come back, your blanket would still be nice and toasty warm. Whereas if Nona was sitting on the couch, watching TV, got a little hungry, went to the kitchen and came back, her blanket would not be warm. So in summary, warm-blooded, you produce your own body heat. Cold-blooded is you're the same temperature as whatever it is outside. These guys can live for a super duper long time. Eastern box turtles can live for 100 years in captivity and about 50 years in the wild. So the reason why they live longer in captivity is because they're getting fed every day, there are no predators that can hurt them, and they're in nice, safe environments. Their lifespan is much shorter in the wild because there are predators that can eat them, and they might not be able to have access to food as easily as they do in captivity. Nona was taken from the outside as a baby um, by somebody who thought that she was just this really cute little turtle pet that they could have. It's actually illegal to take turtles from the wild, so, um, Nona wasn't allowed to live with that person anymore, and she now lives at Earth Place. Um, we can't put her back in the wild because since she was taken as a baby, she doesn't know how to live outside, she doesn't know how to find her own food, 
and as you can see she's not very scared of people she's out and about so if we were to put her outside she'd probably have a hard time distinguishing predators so that's all about my friend Nona the eastern box turtle thank you so much for taking the time to learn a thing or two about some of our animals here at earth place if this is something you enjoyed please let us know thanks